Could your situation today be an answered prayer? Could it be the prayer request your mind prayed? And your mind said, forget about all the shouting I shouted in church. Lord, just my current desire is that I remain poor. The Bible says God is able to do exceeding. Africa, we are a people of prayer. I'm a person of prayer. We are a people who love God. But we have trained the prayer request, the prayer warrior that speaks and starved the prayer warrior that thinks. This is only the first law. The law. Apostle, if all I have is capital and a little shop, I know I will be okay. <laughs> it's a very, very sociological, very empathetic disposition. But you will never rise that way. The law of mental transformation. The lamb was slain twice, according to scripture. Number one, he was slain from the foundations of the earth. Number two, he was slain in his lifetime. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, the entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Genesis chapter 11. Let's start from verse 2. Is someone getting blessed? And we're standing here only because you move mountains, you cause walls to fall. With your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you may. Now watch this. Genesis 11 you are going to see a scripture that has no mention of demons you are going to see a scripture that has no mention of satan and yet you will watch something in this scripture that will teach us a very instructive lesson are you ready please the bible says and it came to pass this is the story of nimrod the son of cush are we together now the bible says it came to pass as they journeyed from the east they found a plain in the land of china and they dwelt there we're reading to verse 5 the bible says they said to one another go to let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly they made bricks for stone and slime they had for mortar verse 4 and they said now watch this let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach unto the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves please keep that scripture there now i'm not arguing about the theological correctness of whether it was a natural building or spiritual building that's not where i'm, I'm that's not my the, the my, my my point of reference now but i'm saying watch this nimrod the son of cush is captain over a people are we together now he's speaking to them about his proposing an idea that they build a city whose tower will reach the heaven so that they would make a name for themselves are we together they had not started the building but he was indoctrinating their minds letting them know this is the possibility because you see your mind thinks in pictures that is the reason why anything that does not have a pictorial representation cannot be captured in your mind if i say orange you know what i'm talking about the the picture of an orange just comes if i say mango it comes why they teach children basic education they attach words to images car and they draw something this is how your mind thinks so now he's painting a picture a city whose tower look up please will reach the heavens let us make a name for ourselves are you ready for verse 5 now look up please read verse 5 if you are born again ready one to read 
and the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded stop in god's mind the tower was finished look at it they've not started building but god was seen from the realm of the spirit who is this building this is your bible god came down and said someone is constructing something here that means everything in life is built twice first in your mind when it is built here it is impossible for it to not be built sit down believers and we're standing here only because and the lord now if it said an angel we may say it's the angel of the devil and the lord he uses his personal name yahweh left heaven his throne and came down to say someone is building they they had not started the construction but in the realm of the spirit a tower was rising already you may be in your little room my brothers and sisters whereas god is building the estate in your mind and you think you are not making progress listen to me please look up anything you hold physically that was not built there you only held a rubber ring it will return it must live your life herein lies the fallacy of living a fake life because you are only wasting your time there must be a registration of that possibility in your mind this is not metaphysics this is not christian science this is the principle of the kingdom so while you are in your room your mind is building the church the members are coming the crusades are happening and you are dreaming with god in your room and it looks like you see this is where ignorant people who are not of the faith will look at you and say you are not making progress in your life what kind of person are you you are not moving and you say i may not be moving but i'm building building you've been in abuja for two years you are not doing anything and god says you really think you are not doing anything you are building a mall in your mind every time you study those materials an expansion is happening listen i give you a guarantee in the name of honesty whatever is built here will be built please sit down let's help ourselves to rise intentionally so that we can defend what happens to us it is true that is the grace of god but when you are blessed we will not speak like foolish people if you know how god brings the blessings upon you you will be able to help others rise that's why stealing and looting is a terrible way to becoming wealthy because there is no pathway to mentor another person into it Are we together verse 6 please give us verse 6 media help us now watch this the Lord said behold please look up please the people is one who is speaking now your God and they all have one language and this they begin to do now physically they have finished it in the realm of the spirit they are about to start it and hear the testimony that god is giving about men who have built he says and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined please sit down these guys were not born again these guys did not have the advantage of the holy spirit this is fallen man when god tells you nothing can restrain a man he would have searched by his intelligence what can restrain these people and you're standing here only because ephesians chapter 3 the law of mental transformation blessed be the name of the lord and verse 20 please let's hurry up so that we can cover much tonight before we pray god is changing someone's life please look up 
can you read it with me it's projected ready one to read now unto him that is able to do exceeding read on abundant all we ask or think according to the power that works in us please keep that scripture there you would have heard me make this example again and again if i say sit here or here it means either places have equal value are we correct now sit here or here drop your prayer request here or here it means that one does not seem to have any advantage above another and the bible says that god can do what we ask and can do what we think not ask and think that means there are two prayer warriors in your life your mouth and your mind they are both praying please sit down sit down while your mouth is confessing lord lift me your mind is saying lord forget about what i just said and the bible says that god is able to do the request that come from your speaking and the request that comes from your thinking look at me so could your situation today be an answered prayer could it be the prayer request your mind prayed and your mind said forget about all the shouting i shouted in church lord just my current desire is that i remain poor the bible says god is able to do exceeding africa we are a people of prayer i'm a person of prayer we are a people who love god but we have trained the prayer request the prayer warrior that speaks and starved the prayer warrior that thinks this is only the first law the law apostle if all i have is capital and a little shop i know i will be okay <laughs> it's a very very sociological very empathetic disposition but you will never rise that way the law of mental transformation The lamb was slain twice, according to scripture. Number one, he was slain from the foundations of the earth. Number two, he was slain in his lifetime. Please look at me. If you can show me what you are building with the Holy Spirit, I show you something that no power in existence will ever be able to stop. Growing up years ago, pastor the hand of god will come upon me and i will run to the back of our house somewhere there and i will just hold the mic and i'm preaching i'm preaching all to myself and sweating and the anointing of the holy spirit is upon me and i'm seeing people and i'm going i'm laying hands on benches and i didn't know i was building let me tell you this that's why when god wants to help you he will allow you go to bed then he will take part of your future and plant it you are supposed to incubate what you just saw you went to bed suddenly you are in a crusade ground you are standing before thousands of people you are ministering under a strange influence of the spirit you get up and you just laugh it away and say man must work and we begin some of these things that we do and you stifle something that would have been the foundation of a great destiny. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.